Hi there, my name is Tanya Hobbs. I'm a teacher in Golden, BC, and a student in the Teacher Librarianship by Distance Learning Program through the University of Alberta. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Trapped, a novel by Michael Northrup. This is a story about surviving school, and I don't mean good grades, I mean literally surviving at school. Imagine being trapped in school for almost a week because of a snowstorm. You know that feeling when the snow starts coming down hard and you and your friends start to get excited about sleeping in and doing whatever the heck you want because really the buses are going to be cancelled the next day. The students at Tatawa High were starting to feel that way. The snow had been coming down for hours and everybody was prepping themselves to get sent home early and to sleep in the next morning. Scotty Weems wasn't quite as stoked as everybody else. He knew that his basketball game was going to be cancelled. It was the first game of the season. He had been practicing his jump shot for hours. He was kind of hoping to be able to strut his stuff. When everyone heads out of school early, Scotty and his friends Jason and Pete stay afterwards. They head to the shop class to work on Jason's ridiculous go-kart. The snow keeps coming down and after about an hour, the boys realize that their ride isn't showing up and maybe they have a bit of a problem. Turns out there are four other kids still at school as well. Scotty and the six other students initially sort of think that spending a night at school is a, a minor inconvenience. After a few hours of sitting around waiting for someone to come and save them, Mr. Gossel, the only teacher still in the building, steps out in the storm to see if he can go get help. He doesn't return and then the power goes out. And Scotty realizes that a cancelled basketball game is maybe the least of his troubles. With no heat, no light, no connection to the outside world, these seven students have to work together to survive. Scotty learns a lot about himself and the people he's stuck with. Things that I never really thought of as valuable traits. Being able to break and enter, being able to build a go-kart, end up being the things that might help them to survive. Wearing a parka and snow boots to school probably isn't very cool, but after reading Trapped by Michael Northrop, I think you'll choose the warmer route.